there are two words that will make anyone with a vagina run in the opposite direction. Pap smear. If you know, you know. And it all comes down to this one terrifying device that hasn't changed in 180 years. But now, two brilliant Dutch female engineers finally said enough is enough. Meet Lilium, and it's about to revolutionize gynecological care as we know it. Lilium will hopefully replace a tool whose traumatic history and severely outdated design have harmed women for nearly two centuries with one that promises a more gentle and dignified gynecological exam. And if you think I'm being dramatic by using the word traumatic, then go watch my history of a speculum video. The link to that video is in the comments. And we've been using essentially the same design ever since. One major change was switching from metal to disposable plastic, which managed to be both terrible for the environment and just as uncomfortable. But Tamara Hovling, a PhD candidate at TU Delft specializing in circular medical design, and Ariadna Iskar-Gwal, a master's graduate in integrated product design, looked at the system that often ignores women's pain and decided to change it. In collaboration with Delft University of Technology, the two used a human-centered approach and actually talked to gynecologists and patients about why current speculum are so scary. Their findings are pretty clear. The tool was simply never designed with the patient in mind. The actual design is based on a flower that gently opens and closes. Instead of the medieval torture device approach, it uses a tube to softly push open the petals, similar to how a tampon works. It's built to be intuitive, so patients can even self-administer if they prefer. It's the first time someone thought about what it actually feels like to be on the receiving end of this thing. And not only is it comfortable, it's sustainable. While current speculums have up to nine different parts. Seriously, Lilium has just two components, making it easy to clean and reuse safely. Right now, Lilium is raising funds for CE certification to begin human clinical testing. For far too long, women's pain during medical procedures has been dismissed as, quote, just part of the process. The fact that it took until 2024 for someone to redesign a 180-year-old medical device says everything about our approach to women's healthcare. But thanks to these two engineers, that is hopefully changing. If you like videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are finally dropping the second part of the Pure Blood video on the Rose study at the end of this month. And that's at Today I Learn Science at TIL Science.